today we're checking out the new episode of Oshinoko, but first, if you enjoy the video, like, comment, and subscribe so you can help us reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I think it's possible with your help, and if you've already subscribed, thank you. I really appreciate it. Also, you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. You'll also see some other links down in the description. If you like non-anime reactions, I have a separate channel where I do that. If you'd like live reactions, you can stop by the Twitch stream and be like these people right here. They literally hang out with me on Wednesdays when we watch the show live on stream. And you could be like them. Look at all them talking. You could be like them. Hang out with us on Wednesdays when we watch this show. I also stream on other days. Just follow me on Twitch. Stop by for one of the streams. Oh, so she's finally seeing this. She's going to lose her shit, bro. <laughs> Sensei's here. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> a bento? <laughs> Look at her face. This is hospitality. A little bento, green tea. Yeah, I, I, for you. I did it for you. <laughs> Not what she was expecting. She thought it was going to be very simple. You got people on stage. It's a play. So she might be able to write in mind with like write the script with that in mind. She's not used to this shit. She doesn't know what she's doing. Wait till she sees who who wrote the screenplay. Hmm. Dude, this guy's kissing so much ass right now. He's just bought real estate all over her ass to kiss it all. Jesus. <laughs> A little pushback. Here we go. A little pushback. <laughs> Among the author's personal rights that a writer holds is the right of integrity. Okay, cool. Rights to protect the author from being hurt emotionally. Okay. Right of integrity. The the right to prohibit alterations without prohibit. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. A right of integrity. The right. To have the content or title of your work altered, changed, omitted against your will or without your permission. Mm. It's completely and utterly possible that the script you write will be used exactly as is. Which means if you do a bad job and it doesn't adapt well, the stage play is going to be ass. So you say, but... Oh, I love that. I love that he says that. A gifted novelist, somebody who's amazing writing novels, they try to do a manga for the first time. How good do you think that's going to turn out? That's what you're doing. You're a mangaka, and you're trying to write a stage play for the first time. How well do you think it's going to turn out? Gotcha, ass. Little man, what are we doing here? All right, that works too. All right, thanks. He just smacked all over the mic. Is that good enough for you guys, chat? He smacked on the mic to you. He said hello to you. Ooh, ooh, wow. Oh, oh, I kind of like that. This is a power, this is the only power move he has. His only power move is to say, Listen, if you want to write the script, I'm going to make them do exactly what the script is. And if you suck with your script, your stage play is going to suck. And that's your fault because you, I like that, power move. You have to do it, dude. He took away all of, or sorry, she took away all of his power. Now he's got to get some back. Whoa, ready to fuck the shit out of a geezer or two. That's what it takes. That's what he said, right? Suck the, oh, suck the dick. There you go. Suck the dick of a geezer or two. Suck the dick. Maybe, maybe that is, maybe it is. He said, suck the dick. That's crazy. <laughs> That's, it's just like, whoa, what the fuck? Sometimes you got to suck a dick or two. Mm. Can y'all just collab? Meet them halfway. Collab. But I want direct input. 
その後の剣とのバトルの中でそれだとだいぶ原作の展開から離れませんか Yeah! But you gotta keep who they are at their core, exactly, dude. Even if you change things a little bit from here to, the, you know, from time to time, if you add new things that can still get across the same idea, it works. And now that, now that um, Abiko says that, it's okay if we change things as long as the core of the characters stays the same. Now, he is going to understand, okay, so this is where I fucked up. I thought you wanted everything to be the same as the manga, but what it is that you really want is the core of the characters to be the same because Game of Telephone, it wasn't really working so well. This is one of those things that you see in like manga. Like she's basically like thinking out loud so that way the viewer can understand. But yeah, she basically is just saying right now that she doesn't have the experience, which is kind of weird for her as a character because we see her as this very like confident, maybe know-it-all, believes she's super talented type of character, right? But there's the her saying that shit out loud shows us that she's capable of seeing where she lacks and reflecting on it, which is pretty cool. I like that. And now they're now they're just having a conversation. That's good. I like that. That's good. That's very good. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute photo. Hey, possible thumbnail alert. Playing up your strengths. I like that. Oh, they're having fun. It's gonna be like one page. <laughs> They're cutting everything. What the fuck? <laughs> Abiko Sensei, it's one page. That's all we have left is one page. Why did we cut everything? No. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking hates the fact that he's been here this entire time. <laughs> Oh, they took out. Oh, that's what they were doing. They were taking out exposition. Because with a manga, you're getting panels. You see one panel, you see another panel, you see another panel, you see another panel. And there has to be exposition within the manga to explain what the fuck is happening. But once it's a play, or even with an anime, by the way, even with an anime, show, don't tell. It's like a common thing in story writing. Show, don't tell. And when you show, when it's a, a visual thing, not just like words on a paper, when it's actually moving, you can show the audience what's happening instead of just telling them like, and so we went on from this place to that place. No, you just show them going from the place to the place. I like that. <laughs> Everyone likes this more. How's Aqua? Oh. Oh, shit. Because he's not good with this stuff. Oh, no. That's not good. Aqua's worried too. Now your performance has to carry your character. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no! Is that what they wanted? I could be an actor, chat. Oh, that's pretty good, right? I don't know, dude. I could do it. Push out some fake tears. Hold on, my AC's blowing on my eyes. Give me a second, guys. Sayahime. No. Oh. Perfect. Yeah, my AC vent's like right there. It just like blows right on my face. So if I can just open my eyes enough and really just get it in there, I can. Keep yourself to comedy acting. You know what, I'll take that as a compliment. You're saying that I'm funny. I'll take it. Reacting is a kind of acting. Well, kind of, I guess. There's acting in it. That's fair. Emotional acting. I could do that. I'm, I listen, I don't know, chat. I think I could. 
Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. <laughs> Arima is kind of true here. She's kind of she's kind of right. Purely business girlfriend who he just met is wild, bro. He hey, yo, she is trying to fight right now. She literally just mm, threw a punch with that line. Yeah. And she don't even have a rebuttal. What's she gonna say? You ain't got nothing to say back. Akane's cooked there. She got nothing. She, he's not a very emotional actor. So he's gonna have to tap into his emotions for this shit. Oh, this might get dark. Chat, what if he's gotta, gotta, in order to tap into something emotional that makes him cry, he's gotta remember the death of his mother. I could see that being a thing. She's gonna say she she taps into something. Oh wow! Wow! Oh my god! Yo, what a thing to say! She chat, we can't blame her. Chat, 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 chat. We can't blame her. We can't blame her because she don't know. She doesn't know. His mom is the agency lady. That's his mom to everybody in the world. That's his mom. We can't blame her. She has absolutely no clue. But that is a gut-wrenching, a gut-wrenching thing to say. Oh, no. Bro, I feel like he's gonna... I think that if he goes to show emotion using that, his mother's death, I think the floodgates might open. I think they might genuinely open. Aw, this is memories of when he was happy. Oh, Arima's in there. Let's go. Let's go. So we just saw two, two different girls. And then, of course, his sister's got to be in there, right? No, or not. There we go. Oh, it's more B. Komachi. Oh, there's his sister. Okay. That's giving Emotokan right there, bro. I'm just saying, that's kind of giving Emotokan. Hey, I'm just saying, it seems like there were more Arima than there were Akane. Oh, shit. The starring gun, right? Oh, is that his past self talking to him? Oh, shit. Oh, he got trauma. He's got trauma big time. He's not allowing himself to be happy. He's not in, uh, not allowing himself to enjoy life until he gets that revenge. Is she going to be an eye right now? She might do the. She might pull the eye right now. Oh, interesting, bro. He did say that he wanted him to raise him. Obviously, we know, like, looking back, he meant raise him in the sense of, like, as someone in the industry. But, like, the fact that this is the person he goes to when it's not, like, his direct immediate family, this is the person, that speaks a lot to how he feels about him. <laughs> Mm. He did not. Yeah, that's not something you can make a full recovery from, I don't think. I think that's something that always is there. He blames himself. He blames himself. Oh, shit! 
Oh my fucking god! No way. There is no way. She has already done the math. She had the post-its on the fucking wall. She's already done the math and figured out that I had kids. She is not about to discover. Boom. You got it. Holy fuck! Holy fuck. She gonna be doing the eye thing? There's, hey, there's no way she about to tell him though. Even if she knows, there's no way. Holy shit. Oh my god. Bro! Bro! Hey! Akane supremacy? Maybe. That was, hey, chat, y'all weren't lying when y'all said that was a... I asked... I By the way, for all of you on YouTube, I asked chat before we started. I said, yo, should we watch Alia first or did something crazy happen in Oshinoko? They said... And somebody in the, in the chat, they said, as a manga reader, you gotta watch Oshinoko first. I see why. I see why. That was crazy, bro. That was a fucking wild ass episode. But it only goes more crazy from here. I don't doubt it for a second. Anyways, that was a crazy ass episode. I love the ending there. Her figuring it all out. I think that I think that in order to draw on an, an emotion during the performance when Akane's character. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. There is no way Akane is going to go into eye mode. There's no way she's pulling out her inner eye when she dies on stage and forces him to relive this shit. That's going to be fucking crazy, dude. That's going to be crazy. Uh, Listen, dude, good ass episode. What'd you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Oshinoko, we're back, baby. I mean, I like the first three episodes we got, right? All about the script writing. You see the different process that goes into things. Sure, that's cool. I like that. Yes. This shit, this is the peak that we live for. That was crazy. So let me know your thoughts. And if you enjoyed the video, don't just leave a comment. Also like and subscribe. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.